It's your boy Torque TV live in the flesh right here, right now. Um, we are leaving J2 in performance. I want to give you guys a review and I also want to give you guys some information on how you should prep your car, what mods you should do before getting the tune, why you get a tune, benefits of getting the tune, and the only con of a tune during the tune. So, right now, after the tune, it's night and day. I gained 44 pounds of torque, obviously. I told you guys that in the last video. If you haven't checked out that video, go check that video out now. And I also gained, I think, close to 30 horsepower. Anybody's gonna feel that. That's a big difference. But let me give you guys a rundown on what J-Tune Performance did for me. So the tuner, Mr. Hawk himself, the professional, I'm not just hyping him up. I wouldn't hype him up if I had a bad experience. The experience was 100% great. He is very informational, knowledgeable. He knows what he's doing when it comes to the G35, the Nissans, anything Nissan really related. And I'm sure other cars, I don't know. I don't drive other cars, I drive a Nissan, so. But yeah, first and foremost, walking in there, my car was very, very lean. I was running high 15s, close to 16 which you know is not good on the NA car. That's more towards like a, uh, hold on, let me put cruise control on because this thing is, is making me mad. On set, never got to touch it again. My feet's not touching the pedal. We're just gonna ride this down. We got miles and miles and miles to go. So he fixed that up, leveled everything out. Um, my rev limiter is now further. So it takes a longer time for me to rev before having to shift if I'm spiritually driving it, which doesn't happen all the time. It's just rare occasions when I'm bored. Not even when I'm bored, literally rare occasions. Um, so you feel the difference night and day. The car takes off, feels like a rocket. Everything's different, especially when you have anti-lag. If you go get a tune, I would definitely recommend you spend the extra 100 for the arc license to get the uh anti-lag and the uh, rolling it's a rolling launch control but you also get a standstill launch control i never do that i'm not that type of guy i'm more of the rolling anti-lag i don't do it from a dig boom oh wow you felt that bro i just lifted oh oh scraping <laughs> they heard that oh yeah yeah i'm sure they heard that Okay, so first and foremost, the car is amazing. Runs 10 times better. You can feel the difference. Everything feels 10 times smoother. Another great thing that I got was the eco mode. I personally was more excited for the eco mode more than anything, only for the simple fact that you guys know that the G35 Coupe Nissan 350Z is a gas guzzler along with being an oil consumption guzzler. That's what it does to the oil and then that's what it does to the gas, not the wave. So if I'm going to save on anything, I figured, well, let me save on the gas. So that's what I'm doing and I've gained, normally I'll get about 200, that's risking it on a full tank of gas. Now I can do about 250. 275 easily you know help me out a whole lot that was a great 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 mod you have your valet mode where it only wrapped to like 4k and the person driving it can only go 40 miles an hour that's good to have we have a kill switch nobody can ever start the car ever ever unless they know where the kill switch is how to access it and how to detonate it and undetonate it. Getting the Torque TV juice stuck in my chest. You think it's that hot tune in J-Tune power, Big Dallas? Um, but yeah, I mean, everything from my exhaust sounds different in a good way. Uh, you'll be able to run a lot of cars. You'll be able to take an HR. You can easily take an HR that's not tuned. So, yeah. I'm gonna do a few pulls for y'all, let y'all hear what it sound like, and that's it. Right. In one mile, keep right onto River Road toward the sky.
first few mods, as I said earlier. Um, I would say try to go as full bolt-ons as possible. And when I say bolt-ons, this is what I mean, because I know some people don't understand that. I didn't understand that at one point. Like, what's a full bolt-on NA car? What does NA mean? So, pretty much, NA means naturally aspirated. NA means that you don't have a supercharger or a turbo kit, which is tech, which is forced induction. NA is not forced induction, just straight motor, you know? So the first mods, I would say, get some test pipes, get a full exhaust, a legit full exhaust. I personally wouldn't recommend an eBay exhaust. I've experienced that and experienced leaks and just bad quality. The titanium tips, they go bad. Don't get the HKS rep exhaust. Just don't, because you're gonna wind up spending the money eventually. That's what I wound up doing. I've ran through maybe three different exhaust setups since then. So you want a full exhaust, get an intake. I like the admin tuning intake. I don't have it, but I would have gotten it before. Right? What I have right now is the engine technology intake. I love it. The noises it make, it's awesome. It's just great. You know, um, what else would I say to do? Get a spacer or a plenum. I personally have the Motordyne 516 plenum. What I recommend it. 100%. I definitely felt the difference. Um, I personally wouldn't really recommend the throttle body, the 75 millimeter throttle body, because a lot of people tell me that they've lost power. The tuner told me that a lot of cars have come in there with that and lost power, but it'll depend on your car, depend on how your car is going to react to it. Some people will gain, some people will lose, so that's up to you. Um, that's really it, though. Full exhaust test pipes. Headers, I don't have headers, but what I recommended, I mean, sure, if you have the money and if you want to take half the motor part to get to the headers, go headers. But what I have is test pipes. In two exhaust. miles, keep left onto New Jersey Turnpike North. You're just going to talk through my video? You acting totally different. I ain't never, ever seen my like, like this before. Who made you like this? It's gonna be a breeze. Anyway, yeah. Another topic I wanna talk about, test pipe. I, I said test pipe. <laughs> Two-step, rolling anti-lag, what's the difference? Two-step is just a rev limiter for launch control. When you're set at a set still, the RPM is to go, then, 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 and then soon, you know, as soon as you let go of the clutch, you dump the clutch, it'll take off. Rolling anti-lag is normally for forced induction cars. It's to build boost. Now you can have it on an NA car, which I have, which is almost like a rolling launch control for an NA car. It feels like it, it feels great, it's amazing, do it. But for all of you guys that are saying, oh, what's this, what's this? two-step is rolling, it's, wow. I can't speak today. And I'm Keep not left onto New Jersey Turnpike North. You acted different. Gore. Gore. <laughs> For 34 miles, continue on New Jersey Turnpike North. Who made you like this? But yeah, guys, two step is a rev limiter for launch control. Engineered explained, said it himself. That guy's a genius. Take his word for it. Take my word for it. Go full Botons before you go Tune. Go shout out my man J Tune. I said my man J Tune. You know what? Cut this. What's good, Torque fam? I'm back. I lost some footage. The phone died. The memory was full. We just a mess. But to get back to the video, um, the only downside of getting a tune is when you get a tune, you have to f sign these papers, and on the papers, you're basically signing your engine away to the tuning shop. They're not responsible for anything that happens to the car. They blow your motor, it's just, you leaving without a motor in that car. I'm just telling you that right now. You towing that thing back to your house, you heard. Um, but yeah, that's really the only downside. Otherwise, I would say definitely go get a tune, but that's really gonna conclude the video. I didn't really miss much. 
Um, shout out Sacramento. My boy told me to shout them out. Got fans out there. And uh, yeah, man. That's really it. One thing I forgot to mention. I'm coming out with a clothing line. If you want to check that out, go to my Instagram, torquetv.tm. We'll be accepting pre-orders. They're coming out on the uh, 22nd, I believe. Just a limited supply. I'm just trying to fill the waters on if the merchandise would sell. And if it sells, then we're good. So, uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share this video. Let's get Tor TV to 4K because we close, big fellas.